Hello, HCA students. My name is Chris Gibbons. I'm the director for the Healthcare Administration Program at Mercy College, and I wanted to check in with everybody uh, with everything that's been going on over the past couple of weeks, kind of give you some updates, general updates of what's going on with the college and obviously what's going on with, with the program. So, well, first of all, is that uh, the, the college, as you probably have read in emails, that we've gone to an all virtual mode. And for us, we've always been in an all virtual mode, but um, the entire college is now completely uh, online. The physical campus itself is only staffed by a few people, two to three people every day on a rotating basis. So there is a physical presence on campus, but it is very, very uh, minimum. minimal. The um, students are not, um, they're not barred from coming to physical campus. If you need to go there for some reason, perhaps to use a computer, you're able to do that, but you will be, uh, your temperature will be taken before uh, entering the building. Uh, so, you know, do keep that in mind. Obviously, if you, if you have a temperature, please do not even think about leaving home at this point, but I think we're all pretty, pretty good with that. But some of the facilities are still open to you, especially the computer labs. Those are the big ones that you would have any interest in, in using if for some reason you needed to get access to a computer to take your classes. All right. So, but for the most part, because we are already in a virtual um, you know, program, an online program, the program has gone completely unaffected with the changes. For me, obviously, I get to work from home now because we've been all sent home to work. So welcome to my home office, the new HCA studios. And obviously I get to dress a little bit more casual and decided to grow a beard <laughs> during this uh, COVID-19 situation. But, uh, but I know many of us are also faced with some, some pretty significant changes to our pattern in the way that we live. Um, if you're a healthcare worker, you may be working some extra hours as you prepare for potentially more patients coming through your way, whether you're a nurse, a, radi a radiographer, um, or phlebotomist, or some other position within, the, within healthcare, you know, you might be preparing for some more, uh, some more demand that's to come. We've seen a little bit of demand starting to increase uh, as patients in, in this particular area are starting to enter the system, but it's, it's been pretty minimal so far. But uh, that's probably going to change. Now, but with all of that, you know, you've either been sent home or you're doing or you're potentially working more hours. OK, so there's been a lot of disruption, you know, including the schools being closed. OK, so those are the small children. I have a 10 year old in another room over there who's been told to be quiet. You know, we're, we've got uh, that situation, you know, as well. So a lot of um, a lot of changes to the normal rhythm of our lives. So we just have to be kind of flexible as as we go along here. Even though I feel the HCA program is probably the one that's least affected out of all of the programs at the college, which is pretty amazing, um, it's still going to be affected nonetheless because your lives are going to be affected as we go forward. All right, so let's talk a little bit about um, you know the the college itself. Will most likely well is already going to be pretty much in virtual mode all the way through the semester. That will not affect you at all. Graduation has been, if you haven't seen that notice, graduation has been canceled. You will not be having graduation. For some of you that are, we're hoping to graduate this spring, you're still gonna graduate, don't get me wrong. You're still gonna complete your courses and all of that. You won't be able to uh, participate, whether that, that ceremony, which is called commencement, there's graduation, which means you actually finish the requirements of the program. And then there's a ceremony that you do, which is called commencement. Uh, commencement for spring has been canceled. You will be invited to the commencement for fall. So if you wanted to attend that, I highly encourage you to do that in the fall. Celebrate that achievement. I know it's a little delayed after you've actually completed the program, but it is a great way to celebrate that. Um, but nonetheless, that doesn't diminish your achievement and what you've done if you're graduating this, this spring. You know, it's, it's not easy to complete a program. So I congratulate you on that. So those are some of the updates then with the college. Uh, now let's talk a little bit about, you know, you as healthcare workers, many of you, and what's going on there. I talked about the changes in all of our patterns. What I ask you to do is that in all of your courses, if you are having any difficulty, okay, reach out to your instructor, let your instructor know. 
we're going to be exercising um, extreme flexibility during this time period, okay? Uh, you know, as far as, you know, if you need extensions on due dates or whatnot, work with your instructors on that. Just let them know they've been, um, they're more than willing. They totally understand what you're going through, uh, you know, to offer some, uh, maybe some greater flexibility than typically what we do, okay? Uh, in, in order for you to get there. I know we're generally pretty flexible about things, but now we're really being super flexible. The big important thing is we, we, we do need to get the learning objectives done for your courses. You have to demonstrate that you have the knowledge that we set forth in the course objectives. That has to be done. Where, um, how we get there the, and then is kind of where the, the, the discussions can happen with your instructor. So make sure you are working with your instructor, okay? If you have any difficulties at all, you know, out, I ask that if, it, if it's with a class, please uh, engage with your instructor first. If you uh, have any other difficulties outside of that, uh, please contact me, okay? You have my email and my cell phone number below. Feel free to text me. That's a great way to get a hold of me or send me an email and uh, let me know, okay? But uh, again, we're all working here as a team to get, get you through, especially this semester and hopefully by, you know, by summer uh, in May, we'll be back on track and Kind of in a in a normal mode, and you're in a normal mode, and, and all of our lives get back to a normal a normal rhythm and pattern. So please uh, please do that, and uh, don't forget that there's still college resources out there for you. You may just have to get them, you know, in a little bit different a different way. So uh, remember, those are still uh, out there for you as well. All right, guys, that pretty much covers it for this week. I'm going to be reaching out every week and talking to you, uh, just you know, again, kind of keep you uh, informed with any kind of news or updates, you know, with your program uh, as we all kind of navigate this new territory uh, that we're in. Uh, right now, Ohio is sort of a, um, uh, I want to say a shelter in place. They're calling it something different. But basically, we're not told to go out right now anymore, except for buying food or, you know, absolute essentials. And they're closing down all the businesses, uh, the non-essential businesses tonight. So yeah, so some, some changes here. Some of you are already in states that have lockdown or shelter in place. Um, so you've already, you know, you're kind of already um, a little bit ahead of the game, but Ohio is doing that today. So, so there you go, everybody. Everybody have a great week. You know, try to stay safe, make, take this thing serious. You know, this is, this could be some very serious stuff out there. And I will, um, uh, I'll check in with everybody next week and don't, hesitate to reach out to me if you have any questions. Okay, thanks.